Hi, Hi Kitty Wink listeners. I'm Juliana. And I'm Lindsay. Glad you're all here for story time. Okay, open hearted, playful, and intelligent listeners. This is episode number 10 of our sports series. Woohoo! Yes, make sure you check out our website, kittywingcrew.com, for information about us, our events, and our activity book. It's a great companion to our Series 1 stories. Mm -hmm. Our mascot and octopus pal Ozzy is also thrilled to have you as a member of the Kitty Wing crew. Together we make an amazing team. All right, team Kitty Wink. It's time to guess the sport in this story. Linz, we are ready for three clues. Okay, clue number one. I wrote a book about a family (laughs) playing this sport. Oh, well, now I know. (laughs) (laughs) Clue number two. You usually play nine or 18 of these. Okay. And number three is it's a sport about misses. Okay, listeners, what do you think? A sport about misses and nine or 18. I'm guessing that's nine or 18 holes like Mm. in golf. It's golf. It's one of my family's favorite sports. Yes, and the book is An Above Par Day. If you don't have it, get it from our website as well. It's amazing. Yes, thank you. Listen for geometry and geography in the story. Remember, geometry is mathematical and geography is about locations. Let's go team. Come along with us. It's time to listen and then we'll discuss. Ready? Go team. Can we? Alexia and her family had exciting plans. They were going on vacation, and not just any vacation. They were traveling across the Atlantic Ocean all the way to Scotland. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, they were going to stay in East Lothian, and everyone in the family was excited about going to the Ghislaine Golf Club. I don't know a lot about Scotland, but I do know they are very famous for their golf. Golf was invented there, right? Yeah, it was. It's believed to have started way back when during the Middle Ages. That's so cool. Is East Lothian a good place to play? Yeah, there's almost 600 golfing options in Scotland. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it took Alexia's parents some time to narrow it down and decide where to visit and play. But they chose the Ghislaine Golf Club in East Lothian because it has a kids course that has been there for over 100 years. Wow. And the cherry on top is that it's free for kids to play. Oh, my gosh. Over 100 years and free. (laughs) That's a total (laughs) win. Yeah. And another interesting fact is that East Lothian is where six of the first 15 golf courses in the world were founded. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Yeah. There's a lot of history there. Yeah. Alexia and her brother, Liam, were so excited about this trip. Liam has always been very interested in practicing golf at home. He's worked really hard, as you might know from the book I wrote in Above Par Day, to get better and better. One of his favorite things to do is use his putting mat in his basement. Oh, that's cool. Alexia doesn't always practice as much, (laughs) but before this trip, she decided to spend more time practicing her putting with Liam. After school, they would come down to the basement and play putting games. They love to do compete against each other and do silly, silly things. They would make the loser of any drill do something crazy. Whoever doesn't make their putt from right here has to run around the block quanking like a duck. Alexia told Liam before hitting her ball into the hole in the putting mat. What? Oh my gosh, I better make this? (laughs) Liam said as he whacked the ball just a little too hard. It bounced over the hole and out he ran, quacking away. (laughs) You know, he did it. He really ran around the block like a duck? A deal is a deal. (laughs) My father-in-law always said that, and Uh it's a good rule. Liam and Alexia also like to live by that rule. I love that rule. If you say you're going to do something, you better do it. And don't worry, it wasn't just Liam doing silly things. Alexia lost next, and she had to act like a monkey for the next five minutes. (laughs) Oh my gosh, I love that. When they were finished with their putting practice, they would leave their putters right there on the mat ready for the next day. Finally, the day arrived when they were leaving for Scotland. Liam, can you grab my golf clubs from the basement and bring them up so I can put them in my travel bag? Alexia asked. Sure, Liam replied. I need to grab mine too. Oh, and don't forget our putters, Alexia reminded him. You got it. I won't forget them. 
Liam said. Liam went, went downstairs and grabbed his putter. Well, where was Alexia's? He looked under the couch and couldn't find it, but he did find the book he got from the library. It was all about <laughs> Scotland. He was so excited to find it, he forgot all about Alexia's putter uh. and ran upstairs to put his in his bag. They packed the car with their bags. Oh, my gosh, it was so full. Everyone had their regular suitcase plus a huge golf bag. Did you remember everything? Liam asked Alexia. I think so. I know I packed my lucky unicorn socks, Alexia said with a smile. Unicorn socks? Why did you pack those? Liam asked. Because unicorn are Scotland's national animal. Duh. Wait, stop. Is that true? <laughs> yes. Can you believe it? I wish it was our national animal here in the U.S. How yeah, cool is that? That's amazing. I do too. The travel felt like it took forever, but as soon as Liam and Alexia got to the first hole at Glen Golf Club, they all knew it was worth it, and they were really excited because they got to play just the two of them. They didn't play with their parents? Not on this particular day and course. They loved playing as a family, but they also loved when they got to play just the two of them. So fun. Tell us about their round. In my book, I describe the first tee box as majestic. But man, this one was even more magical. The course was gorgeous. Even the tea markers were cool pyramids. Oh, I've never seen tea markers that are pyramids. Can you explain what they are? Tea markers help you know where to set up for your first shot or drive. They're different colors depending on your age and gender. Liam and Alexia got to play the kids' course, so the tea markers were all for juniors. Oh, that's cool. They're usually like cubes or spheres or signs. But on this course, they were shaped like pyramids. Pyramids are 3D shapes made out of triangles. I bet those looked really cool. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were pyramids because the horns on a unicorn look a little like pyramids. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. The first hole was going perfectly. Alexia was playing really well, better than Liam, which was usually the case, uh, but she all. never bragged about it. <laughs> Good sister. It was probably the awesome unicorn sock she was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> she got to the green in three shots. It took Liam five, but who's counting? And uh. she was ready to putt. Um, L Liam, where's my putter? I'm sure I grabbed it. See, mine is right here, Liam answered. Mine is definitely not here, Alexia said as she showed Liam the empty slot where her putter usually goes. It's Definitely not here. Remember when you ran downstairs and I asked you to grab both of our putters? All of a sudden, Liam felt a sinking feeling in his stomach. Oh, looking under the couch, finding the book, it all came flooding back. Oh my gosh, Alexia, I'm so sorry. I think I only grabbed mine. Oh, I feel awful. Uh, give me a few seconds to think. Liam liked to give himself a few seconds before panicking. He was usually able to come up with a solution, but this time he couldn't think of anything. He couldn't make it magically appear. He felt so bad. Okay, Liam, it's okay. You should have grabbed both of them. You said you would, and a deal is a deal. But I have another deal we can make right now. How about neither of us use our putters? We can try to putt with our irons. Maybe it'll be fun or even <laughs> funny. Alexia said, okay, great, deal. Liam said, and he put his putter right back in his bag. I love this, and I love that they didn't even need their parents to help them. They came up with a solution all on their own. Right? I love that, too. And they love to do, like, silly solutions, so <laughs> it's a good one for them. Sometimes we need adults to help us problem solve, but siblings and friends are also totally able to come up with solutions on their own. Okay, Liam, check out this awesome putt, Alexia said as she sunk a long putt with her five iron. What? Alexia, that was par on the very first hole. Nice work, Liam said. Liam tried to sink his putt with his six iron, but he missed the hole by a mile. Ugh. He really wanted to pull out his putter, but a deal is a deal. Good job, Liam. With each hole, they got better at using other clubs for putting, and while they agreed putters are definitely better than irons for the green... <laughs> It was still one of their best rounds ever. Ah, oh, that's amazing. And that's the end. Let's call a Kitty Wink. Hi, Kitty Wink. Can you tell us your name and where you live? My name is Elvie. I live in Oak Park. 
Um, my favorite color is blue and red. LB, LB is my Lindsay's son, and we're so glad you're here today. We can't wait to talk to you about this story. What sport was featured in this story? Golf. Yes, golf. And did you know anything about golf before hearing the story, or did you learn anything new in the story, LB? Nine holes can be 18 holes. Right, you can play nine holes or 18 holes, right? Yes. Yeah, you learned that in the story. What about, um, what what did you know about about golf before hearing this story? Who is very far away? You have to hit it hard. Wait, and then when you heard some, you heard them, t- the characters in the story talk about a putter. You know what to do with the putter? When you're close to the hole, you use a putter. You do use a putter. Do you remember what happened in the story? Did they bring both of their putters? Did Liam pack both of him and his sister's putters? No. What happened? What did Liam do? He saw the book and he forgot his sister's love. Yeah. Uh Uh-oh. So what did Liam learn? A deal's a deal. What does that mean? It means if you or did you do something, you do it. You're right, LB. A deal is a deal. He definitely learned that. And I think both Liam and his sister learned that they, you know, sometimes things happen and Mm -hmm. you have to make another choice. And what was the deal that they made? They don't use their gloves. Yeah, they didn't use their putter at all, right? Even though Liam had his and he wanted to use it. Again, a deal's a deal. Yeah. And I think there was something really good about thinking about others because you you mentioned when Liam went to get the putters, he saw a book that he was looking for, right? Yes. Yes. And so then he for, forgot and he kind of felt a little bad, I, if I can remember correctly. Um, but making the deal with his sister kind of made them both feel good. Do, do you feel like they both felt good at the end? Yes, they had a really good round of golf. I think they did. I think it was like their favorite golf round of their entire lives. Pretty cool. And we talk about geography in the story a bit. Do you remember what would be the geography that we talked about, LB? So where Scotland. were Scotland? Scotland, yes. East Lothian, Scotland. And do you remember how many? It was a big number. I don't know if you're going to remember this, but how many golf courses was in Scotland or is in Scotland? 600. LB, you have such a good memory. And then, LB, what about the geometry? So this is like the math or the shapes. What geometry um, came up in the story? Pyramid. Do you remember where the pyramids were? At God. Yeah, they were like the T markers. And what do pyramids look like? Triangle. Yeah, like a 3D triangle, right? Lots of triangles together make a pyramid. And do you remember... LB, when we were looking up pyramids, where did we see there were some pyramids in another country? Egypt! Egypt, yeah, there are pyramids. So any Kitty Wink crew out there, if you've ever been to see a real pyramid in Egypt, send us your pictures. We'd love to see them. Mm -hmm. Okay, LB, are you ready for a would you rather question from us? Yes. Here goes. Would you rather play a round of golf with Tiger Woods or a real tiger? A real tiger. Why? Because I love tigers. Do you think the tiger would be any good at golf? (laughs) Yes. He is super good at golf. (laughs) Maybe. I think I would want to play with Tiger Woods and see if he has any tips for me. Yeah, I'm with you, Lindsay. I mean, it would be really cool to play with a tiger, but if that tiger got mad, I'd be afraid I'd be in trouble. So I'd stick with Tiger Woods. Maybe he could teach me a thing or two. Yeah. All right. Now, LB, do you have a would you rather question for us? Um. Yes. Let's hear it. Would you rather be a golf club or 
a golf ball. A golf club or a golf ball? You know, that is so interesting. What an interesting would you rather. I've never thought about being either golf club or golf ball, but I think it would be really fun to fly in the air as a golf ball and you can land in all different parts of the course. So I'd rather be a golf ball. What about you? That's my same answer to fly like a golf ball. Me too. We would all be golf balls flying in the air. Yes. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us, LB and listeners. We love chatting with you. Thanks for supporting my mom and Juliana. Thank you for joining us, LB. We hope you enjoyed our golf story and that amazing conversation with LB. Yes, it's so fun hearing from our Kitty Wink community, and we would love to include you on our Kitty Wink team, too. If you want to be on the podcast, email us at contactkittywink at gmail.com. And parents and caregivers, check out our Instagram page at Kitty Wink Crew. Thanks for letting us share what we love and for being part of Team Kitty Wink with us. We will end with a reminder from our favorite pal, Ozzy, to lead with your three hearts. That's showing love and kindness with your body, mind, and words. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for the support. Goodbye. Stories written and read by Juliana Bria and Lindsay Farley. Original theme by Miriam Mayer. Artwork by Amy Nicholson and Maggie Porter. Find us wherever you get your podcasts. This has been a Kitty Wing Crew production.